We are very happy to be joined today by Mauricio Wanderley from Valia, Patricia Fretas from FINEP, and Eduardo Sa from BNDES. Welcome to all of you. Thank you for being on PrivCap today. All of you are institutional investors in the private equity asset class in Brazil. And so I'm very interested to hear your uh, perspective on the industry. First of all, maybe we can start by talking about where Brazil is right now in terms of the development of its private equity industry. I've spoken to many Brazilians who believe that there's a very good moment for uh, uh, private equity in Brazil now. What does that mean? And I wonder if, if you agree. And maybe we could start with uh, Patricia. Oh, uh, yes, I agree. I think now we have a lot of opportunities to invest. And also, we have many nice cases to, to tell about the companies that were invested in the last 10 years. And now uh, they, we have good returns to show to investors. So I think it's a good opportunity to investors to invest and also to new GPs because there are many GPs from US, mainly from the US. They are establishing their offices here also or joining other GPs here in Brazil to, to make to, to, to form a firm here. So it's also an opportunity for international GPs. Mm -hmm. Eduardo, do you agree? Is it a good moment for private equity in Brazil? Yes, sure, because uh, uh, the, the economy is increasing, more people buying, the, the lower classes, uh, the capability to buy. Uh, therefore, I think there's plenty of room for, for to, to, to getting uh, money out of it, of course. And uh, the condition, the macroeconomic conditions are pretty well as well, with uh, lower interest rates that attract more risk capital. So it's a good thing, a good environment uh, for Brazil at the moment. I also agree. I think from a pension fund perspective, uh, we are living now a, a very important moment for pension funds because we are in the middle of a, a reduction of the real interest rate here in Brazil. Yeah. And all the pension funds are start to diversify their portfolio and not only in, in alternatives, but uh, also in equities and uh, real estate. It's a process, a process that's uh, happening right now. And I think that this moment of Brazilian economy is very good to this transition from a, a high level of interest rate environment to a, a, a lower mm -hmm. interest rate uh, situation. Well, let's talk a bit about the history of the institutional investors of Brazil in private equity. Why did they start to get interested in private equity as an asset class and how has that evolved? And maybe we could start with Eduardo. Yeah, well, since the, the Plano Real 1994, I think there was then a red a sharp reduction in inflation. And therefore, then, like Mauricio said, it, it, it started to, to see how to diversify the, the portfolio rather than just put it into something that protect against inflation, like the, 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 the public uh, uh, bonds uh, from the federal government. Then there was still the, the institutional investors started to think, well, let's think about putting more money into long-term assets and then the private action came, came in the mid-90s, but they really pushed it after the 2000, 2003, 2004, and then there was a real push because the economy was uh, really get increasing and the interest rates getting uh, 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 just reducing. Therefore, then, uh, I think that's the story somehow of the institutional investors. Yes, I think before that they were investing through private equity, but only huge deals, not small deals or venture capital and other uh, asset class. But not, uh, after 2003, 2004, they start to invest also in other type of uh, companies, really looking more for the returns that ca came from uh, value added by fund managers, value added by others uh, that invest in the companies. Well, that's a very interesting point. And maybe, Mauricio, it sounds like as the pension funds and other institutional investors have become more involved in the private equity asset class, they've become more diversified. Uh, has that been a good story for so them? We, we develop a, a, a part of the portfolio where alternatives make an important role uh, the first reason is because the Brazilian equity market is very concentrated. So private equity is another way to diversify my, my equity portfolio because I can access uh, many different sectors that I, I couldn't do if uh, invested only in equity. And so 
and we start investing in private equity in 1997. We had good, uh, uh, exp a good experience in, in investing in private equity. And today we decided to increase our, our allocation to 6%. We have uh, 15 managers today. Uh, we will close the end of 2012 uh, uh, investing around uh, 1 billion reais in, in, in private equity. And we're very optimistic about this, the perspective of this market and the, the asset class in the future. So today in the Brazilian private equity market, what is the appetite of the local LPs for private equity? What, you know, what, are, what are they looking for and what are their restraints and what are their new, new opportunities? Maybe starting with that, Eduardo. Well, um, of course, the LPs, they uh, usually, the, the, I mean, the bigger ones, they, they tend to go to the, you know, the big, uh, to the private equity and, uh, for, you know, for the big funds and take part in uh, the buyouts, for instance. But for instance, in BNDES point of view, we, we try to be in all the range of the venture capital, the seed capital, the growth, and, and then the private act in the pipes as well. So uh, we, uh, we, we, we want to stay in all this, uh, in this stage. And, uh, and of course, and we, we, uh, we have perceived that the, the, the investors, not only the, the big institutional investors, but also their family office, for instance, they are coming along and taking the risk for long term, you know, changing the mindset of people not to go only to the stock market. Uh, I think all the major pension funds, they are, read, uh, they are already investing or they are close to start investing in the private equity industry, but the smaller pension funds, they are not investing. We don't have yet any fund of funds. Uh, in the last, like the last here we received some fund of funds from international, uh, international. They came to Brazil, but they are establishing their offices now. But they didn't uh, launch a fund here yet. A fund of funds only focusing on Brazil. So I think there is a lot of opportunity for the smaller pension funds in Brazil to invest through fund of funds because mm -hmm. it would be very tough for them to invest. Uh, because they don't have a team to take care of this type of investment and they need to invest each year to have a good portfolio of funds. So mm -hmm. maybe it's a good opportunity also for a fund of funds to attract these smaller investors. Um, can you talk a bit about the, um, now that Brazil is a very popular place for people around the world to invest their capital, what has been the influence of the um, uh, of international capital in the local Brazilian private uh, equity industry? I think it's increased. That's good. I think that's, uh, as Patricia mentioned before, uh, the, this coming uh, of uh, many new GPs with ex international experience in, in different countries is very good for us. Uh, and so and I think that uh, we have uh, uh, opportunities in many different sectors here in Brazil. and. and uh, the need of capital is huge, and so we believe that makes sense. In, in our portfolio, for example, m many times uh, everybody complains about uh, competition and buyouts and the price is increasing, but uh, in our portfolio we can see that uh, we have a good deals and a reasonable prices. Uh, uh, we can see this inf price inflation uh, uh, in our portfolio specifically. I think from Brazilian perspective, uh, it's nice to have international investors in the same vehicle uh, because we have a lot of opportunities besides the huge market that we have here for the local companies. Uh, this company has a, uh, an opportunity to be globally and to have international investors and national investors in the same vehicle, they all will benefit from the returns at the end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, well, let me ask the three of you briefly as experienced investors in private equity and having seen private equity in Brazil evolve, what are your expectations from the asset class in your own portfolios for maybe, let's say, the next 10 years or so? Maybe we could start with uh, Balia. Well, it's, uh, as I mentioned before, it's, uh, it will be a very important part of our portfolio for the next years. Uh, we have this challenge to continue uh, uh, generate uh, returns to match our liabilities. That's our target. So we have a uh, 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 our largest plan is a GB plan with an uh, actuarial rate around 6% in real terms. And so this diversification process is important. 
And, and we believe that the, the returns that will be given by the private equity, uh, uh, private equity ventures in the next years will be very important to complement our allocation and match this actuarial rate. Patricia, what are your expectations for private equity? Uh, we, we are investing since the year 2001. Now we have uh, like 24 funds and, uh, that we committed capital, so it's a huge uh, portfolio mm -hmm. of funds. And we will continue investing. We, we would like to see more venture capital. We, th we think there's a lot of opportunity in this middle. Uh, we saw a lot of companies that were fostered by the government in the last years related also to innovation. And now the companies are here, and there are not so many venture capital funds investing. So we would like to invest more in venture capital. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Patricia raised a very important aspect, which is innovation. And uh, we we have received uh, uh, GPs from outside, even from and even uh, LPs. I mean, strategic ones. They are coming along uh, to Brazil to, because they they see plenty of opportunities in innovation. Uh, particularly in telecommunications, for instance, but uh, we can see in biotech and clean tech, uh, renewable energy. So um, that, that's a very, I think there's a, a lot of uh, opportunities uh, ahead uh, to invest on these uh, things that are happening and, and increasing demand from you know, big companies, oil and gas, demanding more clean tech uh, devices. So this is another very important thing that uh, uh, it might attract more of the private actor in the venture capital. Very quick question. When do you think uh, local pension funds in Brazil will be able to invest in private equity internationally? Is that being talked about? Well, um, I think uh, all, all the pension funds are, are to make a local movement uh, at first. Uh, I think that if you look at the Valia portfolio right now, it's continued being very concentrated in fixed income because we, in the past, uh, the, the, the level of interest rates here in Brazil, it's uh, 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 led to this situation. Uh, we have 60% allocated in, in fixed income. Uh, so it's a case of Valia, but Valia started diversifying many years ago. But the rest of the industry continue concentrating in, in, in fixed income. The smaller pension funds, they are concentrating in fixed income. And so I believe uh, everybody, the largest pension funds, they are studying international diversification, but uh, it will take a little time to do that because uh, in our case, for example, we are uh, executing our private equity program. We believe that uh, at the end of this year, we will get our target allocation. And after that, start looking at uh, private equity outside Brazil. But I believe the industry needed to diversify not only private act, but even in equity. Mm -hmm. the, the, the allocation of equity in, in Brazilian patient fund industry is, is low compared to international standard. So in real estate also. And so we have a, a long road ahead. Sure. <laughs> just to so get you're, there. you're just, just starting to yes. really diversify. Talking about the industry. Yeah. But, but some pain, the largest, I think it's um, two years, one year ahead or two years, they will be starting fast abroad.